Race up, show the movement. So, it's a job interview like one, no other. Two, one. And it's earned the reputation as one of the toughest courses in the British Army. It pushes recruits to the very limits of their physical and mental endurance. Hey, Joe, get up! Stop showing up! And beyond. And any young man hoping to join the parachute regiment must first demonstrate they have the determination and robustness to pass this gruelling 28-week course. <laughs> including its legendary test week, P Company. Well done, 12! Come on! Stay on! Stay on! Stay on! Stay on! During this series, Forces TV has been given unique access as we follow a group of young men taking on the biggest challenge of their lives. Up to now, they've only dreamed of joining the Paras. Now, they must prove they have what it takes to be a paratrooper. Not all will make it to the end. Who will achieve their ultimate ambition and join the Parachute Regiment? A life in the Parachute Regiment begins in Darlington Station. This latest group of hopefuls are taking part in the Parachute Regiment Assessment Course, or PRAC, at nearby Catrick Garrison. Before they're allowed to start training, it's essential they pass this event. A hey, PRAC course. And the first paratrooper they meet is the course commander. OK, what's your name? Michael Court stuff. Coats, OK. Take your kit, luggage, where the bus is. All right, there's a packed lunch there for you. Grab a sandwich. First opinions and first impressions count. It goes a long way. If we can see at this early stage in their training, I mean, it is training that they're starting. They may not be part of a platoon yet, but it is training when they come through their gates. If they're, you know, dressed to impress, you know, suited, booted, have a little bit of discipline about themselves, and you want to see that keenness and you want that, that look to achieve things. If we have individuals that, that do get here and want to give it 100% and this is what they want to do, then we'll have no problems. We will guide them on that route. We will put them on that route and they will pass off. With 10 years experience in the regiment, including three tours of Afghanistan, Corporal Price knows what it takes to become a para. Over the next three days, he'll assess a group of young men for their fitness and determination through a series of tough physical challenges. You're here for the prac course, is it? Only if Corporal Price passes them will they be allowed to join the regiment's training course. We don't go looking for these recruits. These recruits come to us. You either want to be here or you don't, and if you don't, then that's not no, no, no problem to us. We'll just leave you where you are. But if you do want to be here, you want to be part of the best regiment, then you've got to step up to the plate. Their first task is to arrive on time. We've got 19 at the moment that have turned up. We've got six that are still not here. Uh, it's just gone after 12 now, and that's, that's sort of my cut-off time now to make sure we, we run with the programme. So uh, what happens now, if they rock up here, they'll be making their own way there, either taxi or bus, nothing to do with us. They've been given the timings and they make their own way there. So uh, that's it, we're off. The course attracts men from all corners of the country and from all walks of life. What they all share is the dream of becoming a para. I originally went to Harrogate when I was 16 as a junior soldier, but I left. And to this day, it was a big mistake. Tom Cope had joined the Army Foundation College in Harrogate as a cadet before deciding to leave. My mum and dad knew I'd have made a mistake, and that's why they knew I'd be back here. But. I kind of had an idea myself, as soon as the day I left, I'd rejoin. I think I was just a bit too young and immature, but I'm still immature now because without that little bit of immaturity, then it wouldn't keep you going. It's just for a laugh. <laughs> Until recently, Michael Coates was a support worker, helping people with learning difficulties. When I was young, I used to go to the air show and stuff with my dad at Sunderland, and the parachute 
regiment do like a display the red devils are called and i just always like watching that and stuff i used to always talk about it in school and stuff and when i left school i would still talk about it and i was just like i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna join the paris i'm gonna do it just out the blue just walk down the careers office and sign the forms out come home and tell me man and dad that i'm doing it Philip Howard gave up the chance of going to university to be here. I always wanted to do it since I was tiny. Um, always wanted to join the army. I joined because I wanted to make a difference and wanted to have a bit of meaning. And uh, I joined, joined the Paras because it was the uh, elite unit. For the next 72 hours, their home will be the Infantry Training Centre in Catrick. This is where the British Army trains all its infantry recruits, from guards to Gurkhas. It's also where parachute regiment training takes place. But for now, they can only catch a glimpse. OK, lads, make sure you've got all your kit. Yeah, start making your way off the coach. Prack provides a taster of what they can expect once in training. And it begins in the barrack block. Welcome to Catrick Garrison, welcome to Heddy's Barracks, OK? You're going to be here for the next three days trying for the Parachute Regiment uh, assessment course. From the next three days, you'll just address me as Corporal. We will expect you to call us by our rank, OK? I'm not your mate, I'm not your friend. I'm a corporal in a parachute regiment and I'm trying to get you through your assessment course. You know, we want to try and take the luxuries, that's try and get their civilian head off the shoulders for three days and put them into a military environment, what they can expect for up to 28 weeks and further. So PRAC parachute regiment assessment course, okay? It's giving you an insight to the look at life, okay, of what we do here, okay, and what it's going to be like for a recruit when you finally pass Prac, okay, and you could be starting training team and doing a recruit's life. If I need to speak to everyone, I'm going to shout corridor. All right, so it goes like corridor, corridor. you'll shout corridor, okay? Then you'll say, all right, that means you lot will then get out your rooms and then in the corridor. Happy? Yes, sir. Okay, give it a shout. Corridor! Corridor! Okay, now say it with a bit of balls about you. Corridor! Corridor! Good. Happy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Sweet. Nervous. Really, I've got to pass this, and that just builds up your nerves. And you're with loads of new people you've never met before, going to a new place. I did what I had to do. Keep your head down and do as you're told. <laughs> Most of the phones today you can get on Facebook, you can get on all different sites, okay? Shot across the boat here now, all right? Do not fucking put anything on Facebook, what you're doing, why you're here, okay, or why you're in training. All right, at the end of the day, some of you guys, okay, are going to pass here, pass depot, and get to a battalion, all right? If you start putting on Facebook now, yeah, I'm a paratrooper, you're miles and miles and miles away of becoming a paratrooper at the moment, okay? This is your assessment course to see if you can apply for depot training, okay? You are not paratroopers yet, gents. You are far from that. The parachute regiment prides itself on being the fittest of the fit. Potential recruits don't need to be athletes, but they must demonstrate a necessary level of physical fitness. The standard test is the PFA, the Physical Fitness Assessment. Last 30 seconds. The minimum requirement is 48 sit-ups in two minutes. Remember, this is a test. Okay, it should be you, individual best effort. And 48 press-ups in the same time. Before joining PRAC, the candidates are expected to have put in some training to improve their strength and stamina. Now it'll be tested. They must run one and a half miles in under 10 minutes, but that target is kept from them. We just want to see what they can do, see their best. If I told them you've got to do it in 10 minutes, a lot of them guys would stick the finger up their ass and run to 10 minutes, whereas if nine and a half minutes is what's required, if we didn't tell them, you could have let guys coming in in seven minutes, eight and a half minutes, and that's what we want. First in is Josh Brown, who boosted his fitness at a military preparation college. My PFA, I've got 839. 
my press ups and sit ups about sixty odd, which was it is average. A high average for me. Okay, all the way to the finish line then. I trained about a good year before. I was doing PFAs every couple of weeks and that, just seeing if I improved, going out on, say, an eight mile run and that. I never did anything like tabbing or anything, ever. It was just running, thrashed myself. Good bro, you the nice down, controlling your breathing. It's been a poor start for Coates, who's coming at over ten and a half minutes. Hideous, horrible. I wasn't in good shape. The job that I had it was before I came was like, at long, long hours, long days, you can't really get out. I didn't really have enough time to get out and train. So it was kind of hit and miss with Prague. I, I wanted it though, so I just give it my best. Okay, what's your surname? Although he'll have other opportunities to impress, Coates may have dented his ambitions of joining the training course. Lift, right, lift, right. Many of the young men on the assessment course in Catrick are hoping to start new lives in the parachute regiment, or the reg as paras call it. One day they might fight alongside each other and form bonds that last a lifetime. So it's important they learn to open up with each other from the start, and today Corporal Price holds an icebreaker. My name's Will Whitaker, I'm 19 years old. The point of the icebreaker is to give the guys a little bit of confidence of speaking to each other, getting to know each other. Um, I still currently live in at home with my mum and dad and my brother and my sister. Family rivalry has brought Will Whitaker to Catrick. We have a bit of competition in the family with me and my brother because he's uh, just got into the Marines. You get to know a bit of their past, what sort of background they come from. Uh, we've had a lot of guys that do come from horrendous backgrounds and, you know, a credit to them that they do come through it and they want to better themselves. They could easily go down the wrong way. <laughs> it's easy done. Right, okay. right, uh, my name's Mark Calvans. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Stoke-on-Trent. I live at home with my mum, my brother and my sister and two dogs. How old is your sister? My sister's 27. She's single? She's blind, so you might be in for the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Once you are in the reg, you are in the reg for life. There's no other family. You will need no other family once you're in here. And it's hard to say. I mean, I love my family as well, and majority of the guys will say that as well. But being with the blokes, being with your guys, your men, your, your muckers, you know, there's no feeling like it. You know, if someone's in trouble, you know, guys will bust the gut to help you. And, you know, we, we hate to see people, you know, suffering. Uh, when they can turn around and have a chat and speak to us, approach us. We are approachable people. I want to join the Paras because they're, elite, they're the best. I want the challenge. But it's just when you're on Civvy Street, you feel like you're doing nothing, you're not achieving those. And just, if you want to do something remarkable in your life because you're only living at once, aren't you? It's best to just get out there and get in the thick of it and do it. Uh, it's better or a more honourable job to have than if I was just going to university or if I was come in, probably a bin man with my grades, but yeah. Shouldn't really say this like in front of you, but uh, I've done selection for Marines, about three years ago, failed by a fingernail. And uh, since then I just got back on the build sites. I thought oh, I'll just stay on silly Street. And I just got absolutely sick to death of it, like totally sick. And uh, I want to make some proper money. I want to make some proper mates and uh, get a proper family about us. Up to this point, the candidates have only been tested on their fitness. What Corporal Price now needs to evaluate is their endurance. The steeplechase is designed to test both. If they're lacking, they won't pass P Company, a five-day test week in training. Maximum effort, 21 minutes work of hard work. That's all we need off you, okay? And you'll pass. If you jog and you walk, you're gonna fail. Maximum effort. 100%. Understand? Go on, bro! Go on, bro! Okay, adopt the start position then. Okay, everybody happy with the route? Yes, go on, bro! Okay, any injuries before we start? No, go on, bro! 100% effort is required. Okay, do not be last man. Okay, stand by! It's nearly two miles cross country, complete with water obstacles, and they've got just 21 minutes 
to get around it. It's very difficult because again, it's probably the first time that these guys have actually run in boots. And a lot of these guys have probably just been training in the gym on a treadmill. But yeah, the, I mean, the blisters will probably hurt them after this event as well. And you know, I have a lot, majority of the guys that do have blisters straight after this event because they're just not used to it. Their feet's not used to it. I thought it was horrendous. <laughs> yeah, it's constantly, you knacker constantly. Then you're jumping over obstacles, jumping in water, and it, it just builds up and builds up, and you're carrying this water around all over your clothes as well, so you go really heavy. It's horrible. <laughs> I think b bigger guys on the steeplechase aren't, oh, aren't very good at it. You're failing at this because you're not fucking fast enough. Let's go now, move. You can still catch him. You can still pass. Let's go, hard work now. It's just, it's just hard. <laughs> just getting wet and running with heavy boots and heavy clothes, it's just hard. <laughs> the steeplechase has claimed the first casualty of the course. For now, this young man's dreams of joining the parachute regiment are over. Start breathing in, sucking the oxygen. Start feeling sorry for yourselves, you've done nothing. Easiest vent in the fucking world, that is. What sets paratroopers apart is their ability to jump into combat. It's an essential requirement of the job, and if these potential airborne infantrymen are afraid of heights or leaping out of a plane, they're about to come face to face with their fears. The Trainasium is a 60-foot aerial assault course and is unique to the regiment. OK, watch in for a complete demonstration then. Stop by! Go! By running and jumping at height, it simulates the exit phase of a parachute jump. If anyone lacks the courage and discipline to obey a word of command and leap, they're about to be found out. It's the event that conquers your fear of heights. You can either do it or you can't do it. If you can't do a 60 foot beam walk in the air, there is no way you are gonna be jumping out of a Hercules C-130 at 800 feet, not a chance. Go! No, run, 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 attack it! Right, get back, get back! The first one you see it, you think, oh my God, it's high as that. Run! Yeah, you will not fall! I just thought thought before it, uh, I was actually quite nervous about it, but then I thought it's just, just a big climbing frame. And, uh, yeah, the safety net's un underneath, so if you, if you fall off your land on a safety net was another, another thought that was going through my head. You can't be scared about it, so if you're joining the powers, like you've, got, you've got to be jumping out of plane and stuff, haven't you? The Trainasium is a pass or fail event during P Company. But for now, Corporal Price is assessing their self-confidence. We've seen the Elvis legs go in a bit especially when they're on the, the, the high part of it, coming off the illusion jump. Have some determination, some commitment, yeah, and some balls. Again, this is your second bite of the cherry. You can improve on what score you got. I will take today's scores as well. It's the final day of Prac. These men all share one objective, to join the parachute regiment. The next training platoon takes place in four weeks' time and only Corporal Price will decide whether they have what it takes to join. Fucking all, some of you, OK, you need to desperately improve. OK, you, this is your fucking time now. Not many people get two fucking bites of it. You're getting a second bite of the cherry to do your mile and a half. Make your fucking count. Before he makes his final decision, he'll put them through two further physical tests. First up is another one and a half mile run to see if they can improve on their previous timings. The final challenge is a four mile run over difficult and unforgiving terrain. 
the guys find it horrendous. It's, it's a leg burner, that's all it is. The event includes running up and down the land of Nod. Okay, let's work hard. A name that haunts all infantry recruits. You don't know what I expect. And like when you get to hills that I've like when I got hills that I'd thrown at us, I was like, whoa. <laughs> Am I even gonna get up this hill? For their safety, an ambulance follows close by. It's, it's a big hill. Um, where you have got to pour sweat, blood, tears to get up it. I mean, we've had guys that have been crawling up it, trying to get up there with their, their nails, just to get to the top of it. It is horrendous. We're not setting them up for failure. We're just setting them up to see if they can do it. But it's not just that, it's the continuation of the run afterwards. We don't just Win, well, we don't just win the fight and stop there. We patrol further, we try and find out other elements we need to do. The assessment course has finished. No one is guaranteed a place on the next training platoon. That decision is for Corporal Price to make. Okay then, shut up. All right, what needs to happen now? Okay, get the chairs, bung them all up in that corner out the way. Okay, get off the beds. You're not sitting on beds, are we? We don't fucking do that. Get off the beds. Okay, once you're done, just stand in the line right down here, and I want you in this order when I call out your names. At the end, everyone's nervous. No, nobody will know if they've passed or not. That's the thing. Your four mile run, you was very, uh, very consistent, very at the front today, so you did extremely well. Overall, very good pass. Yeah, I was pretty confident, because my fitness was decent. Strong throughout today, very well done. Okay, green pass throughout the board. I thought I stood a reasonable chance of getting, of getting in. Overall, green pass throughout, well done. Really worried. I thought that I had failed. I didn't rape myself up and say that I'd failed because you've always got that little bit of hope. But I just thought, I just, I'm going to have to pull it out of the bag. Uh, your trinasium did no problem on that whatsoever, okay, and the steeple chase. Mile and a half run, what's your personal best? Name 36. Unfortunately, uh, Coates, okay, you come in with a 1037. Okay, so unfortunately that's a black. Uh, could you fail the mile and a half? Okay, it's a fail. But that's what I'd be saying if we went on your time Tuesday, okay? Your time Tuesday was 10.37, okay? Your time today was 9.57, okay? So you knocked 40 seconds off your time. Thanks to me dragging your arse round there, you were passed at a high risk, okay? Thank you, Corporal. Feel a bit more relieved now? <laughs> right. Thank you, Corporal. Coats throughout that throughout that course. He, he wore his eye on his sleeve and he did, he did work hard. He never give up and that's what we're after. Happy? Yes, yeah, Well done. Court, right, you fuckers. <laughs> Closing, relax, nice and easy. All right. Not that close, fuck. How many times are you? Right, listen, very well done today, okay? I may not have showed it at times, but I do everything for a reason. All right, if I'm blowing smoke up your ass, you'll take the foot off the gas. All right, and that's not what we want. We're always wanting that little bit extra. Okay, so overall, fucking job well done. In four weeks' time, a new training platoon will start its 28-week course. Those who haven't been injured and have passed are eligible to join, but not all of them will choose to come back. Next time, the new recruits start their first hectic week of full training and take their first hesitant steps in drill. Good. Good. Good.